morning guys it's Saturday and tomorrow I gotta go to work Ugh. three days Sunday Monday Tuesday 13 hour shifts and what I thought I would do just take it easy today and I want to do a review on this DJI Mavic Air drone that I have and uh, give you my opinion of it and I'm not sponsored by anyone I'm not being paid to to uh, say good things about this drone. What I say is what I mean. Now let's get to it. Let's do it. First of all, this drone in the wind is very stable. I have a JJR CX-9 Heron and that little bugger's squirrely. <laughs> He's a handful. I love the drone. It's inexpensive and I enjoy flying it a lot. But this Mavic Air is I have a lot of confidence in it. You know, when I fly it, I'm not as nervous as I am with the JJRC, but uh, X9. This, when it when you launch this, it just stays pretty much right there until you hit the, with the remote control. It's a lot like the uh, JJRC X9 Heron, but it's a lot more complex and it costs four times more. This outfit here cost me 750 bucks or so right around there, but I, I ended up getting this fern shell backpack with it and it's got nice little storage compartments I can keep batteries. I keep all my gear in it. I keep my GoPro in here with my short selfie stick or whatever and I keep the two batteries that I got with it for that 750 some dollars and the spare cell phone this iPhone I keep in here for the monitor right here in the backpack and it's going to the Philippines with me it's going to be handy boom for the phone it's got these flip out levers coolest thing also has screw on and off knobs for the controller itself the two thumb controls are screw on and off I leave them on because I got this nice hard shell and as you can see it's got cutouts for those so it goes right down in there and protects the controller this one is not wireless the JJRCX9 is wireless. You have to use Wi Fi. This is not, it's direct wire. You see the wire right there? You just merely take your smartphone and plug it in to your smartphone and the hole in your smartphone. Plug that booger in there and then put your phone up in and you're connected with the wire. This drone is much more complicated. This Mavic Air is more complicated than the uh, JJR CX-9 Heron. The Heron you can pretty much open and get it going pretty quick but this one takes a little more time. This particular drone, this Mavic Air, has an 8 gigabyte built-in memory cache in it so that's helpful. There's the home point. It'll, you can pick your home point or it'll do it all by itself when you launch. The stick mode you can alter your sticks. They have a custom one, as you see right there. You can tap custom. Now right here, see, you start out with a bunch of blanks. I want this, this, this controller, that's this knob, and this controller is this knob, okay? Up, I want, it, when I push forward on this controller, I want it to go up. So I'm gonna move it down there, boom. And that only takes the bottom one. Now when I pull, pull this way, it, puts it makes the drone go down. And left and right yaw, of course, I'm going to keep the same. And then over here, pushing forward drives me forward. So that makes sense. I want to keep that. And then, of course, turning right and turning left, I want to keep that. So now I customize the controllers, the two knobs right here. And then click Save. And there we go. It's now set up the way I like it. There's so many things on here. You can adjust your camera. It's... It's just, it's an awesome drone. And all these modes right here, the fancy ones, the quick shot, active track, uh, smart capture, tap fly, cinematic. I look forward to getting this drone in the Philippines. The flight time is about 21 minutes. I keep a 64 gig, gigabyte uh, SD card in it. Comes with this nice case. The drone fits right in here nicely. And then it fits right down in the case nicely. I, I like this. I love this drone. I'm going to take it out now and goof around with it in the yard. 